Long, long ago, on the top of a very high mountain, there lived a god who was very fond of having fun. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, one, two. It would soon be New Year's, and this genial god was wondering how best to celebrate the occasion. <laughs> there must be some way to have fun with this. Hmm, a one, a two, and... Uh, huh? oh. oh, what's this? Oh. When the god looked down toward the base of his mountain, he saw a gathering of many animals. Ah, uh, why not? I'll celebrate New Year with the animals. But isn't there anything more fun to do than that? What a great idea! Oh, <laughs> the god was very pleased with his inspiration. Shortly thereafter, a sign appeared at the base of the mountain. To all animals, on the morning of New Year's Day, please come to the top of the mountain. The first 12 animals shall in turn reign for one year each as king of the animals. It's first come, first served, so be prompt. Yours truly, God. Wow, king of the animals, oh boy! The animals were quite excited. Got to get up early on New Year's. Ah, go ahead and see who wakes up first. You won't beat me. I just can't wait till New Year's Day. The animals spoke so excitedly they woke up the cat who was napping. Its eyes popped open. <coughs> What's all the fuss about? Hearing that, the mouse told the cat a lie. See? The day after New Year's, if you go to the top of the mountain, you can be king of the animals! Oh, yeah? The day after New Year's, huh? Right! The day after New Year's, that's the day! Uh, in that case, I'll just take a little nap. <laughs> the cat believed the mouse and went right back to snoring. Finally, it was New Year's Eve. The top of the mountain was bathed in the red of the setting sun. Well, I'm kind of slow myself. Maybe I better get off to an early start now. Mm -hmm. The slow but serious three, bull headed straight for the mountain top. Hmm? Something feels itchy. Maybe I imagined it. The bull marched straight on through the night. Before dawn, the other animals began to rise. Nobody can beat my bounce for boing, 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 boing. <laughs> well, that night must be off too soon. <laughs> When the tiger set off for the mountain at a ferocious pace. Boing, 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 boing. Yikes! <laughs> it wasn't only the animals of the local foothills who headed for the mountaintop. Mm hmm, king of the animals. Sounds interesting. I'll join the race. Flapping its wings, the dragon made off for the mountain in a leisurely fashion. The horse and the sheep, who were buddies, encouraged each other on the way up. How did it get so late? How did it get so late? The hen was normally an early riser, but today of all days he overslept. The monkey and the dog started out amicably enough, but soon began competing furiously, which developed into an all-out fight. Ah! Ah! All right, enough of that. No reason to fight. Anyway, we all have to be among the first 12 who arrive on the mountaintop. Coming through! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There, Happy New Year. Oh, oh, they're here. 
Two, two, three, four, the bull had four, finally made it to the top. Three. I'm beat. Lordy Lord, I'm first. Ah, you're first, are you, Mouse? All right then, you're first, and the bull is second. The mouse is first. How did that happen? I must have blinked. Well, now, who'll be next? Ah, <laughs> this is fun. Ah, <laughs> someone's coming. Oh. <laughs> Good. Third place is decided. Phew, that was scary. That tiger is fast. The rabbit is number four. Ahoy there. I got here plenty fast. So the dragon came in fifth place. And the snake came in sixth. And around then, the sheep and the horse were finally arriving. Are there really ghosts on these mountain roads? You'll be fine. I'll kick them with my hooves. With the horse's encouragement, the sheep was at last able to complete the climb. Thank you, horse. You should cross the finish line first. Really? Well, here goes. And thus the horse became the seventh to arrive, and the sheep the eighth. Are you still at it? I'm going on ahead. Hee <laughs> I won't lose out to you two. We better get on move on too. So the dog and the hen arrived at the summit together. And too late! Well, you've arrived at the same time, but let's say the monkey's number nine. Right, then the hen's number ten, and the dog's number eleven. I can't rank the dog next to the monkey, or they'll fight again, right? <laughs> so the god knew all about the fighting between the dog and the monkey. Well, are we all here yet? One more to go? Soon, soon? Sorry, went up the wrong mountain first, I guess, yeah? All right, so now we have all 12 gathered together, right? The first is the mouse, then the bull, and the tiger. After that, the rabbit, then the dragon, and next the uh, snake, then the horse, and the sheep. Next the monkey, next the hen, and the dog. And last, the wild hog. You will all take turns, with each of you serving as king of the animal for one year at a time. And with the new king installed on New Year's Day, that's today, let's celebrate! Around then, the soundly sleeping cat finally woke up. <laughs> that was a nice nap. Now it's time to go to that god's place. Say, Badger, if we don't get going, we'll be late. Who are you kidding, Cat? That finished long ago. I just decided it was too much of a bother, so I've been pretending to sleep. But the mouse said it was the day after New Year's. So you were fooled by the mouse. What the god said was New Year's Day in the morning. The morning of New Year's Day? That mouse! I'll never forget this! Nevertheless, the zodiac begins with the year of the mouse. Then there's the bull, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, hen, dog, and wild hog. That's how the zodiac got its start. And that is also why, to this day, whenever a cat sees a mouse, it gives chase, remembering the trickery that prevented it from joining the Zodiac. And the reason cats are always cleaning their faces with their front paws is so they will never oversleep again. Or so it is said. <laughs>